It's even the first thing I wanted to ask you. We were here on Friday night, and you seem to make a point that your backroom team came out and got their own reception on the pitch. How much work have they done to, towards what has been this magnificent season? Yeah, it's great that you asked that question because, yeah, we've had a, sometimes um, the focus can be on the manager and so forth, but the assistant manager of Vinnie Perth has been, been been really brilliant all season, I feel. You know, he's played a, played a huge role behind the scenes, put, has put in terrific, terrific work. Um, you know, um, walking every day on the training ground and, and in the video analysis room, you know, really, really terrific. And been a great... Uh, you know, a great link between me and the players, really. And, uh, you know, he's done a terrific job. Steve Williams, as well, has been more than just a goalkeeping coach. You know, he's been brilliant for the goalkeepers, but for everyone around the dressing room, he's a real club man, terrific personality, always in good form, mm. and very positive. Graham Bourne, strength and conditioning coach, yeah, very innovative. Um, you know, has, has been, been uh, done a terrific, terrific work here behind the scenes, obviously, on the strength and conditioning side of it and the area of sports science. Be very open minded in relation to all of these things, and uh, him, you know, he, he, he's very, you know, he's very uh, cutting edge in that regard. And you know, he's been terrific, as is Fergal Karen, our, uh, our chief physiotherapist, who's uh, again another another brilliant mind, really, very, 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 very uh, sharp in relation to rehabilitation of injuries and you know, very modern techniques. and, and um, and a great understanding of that area which you need. He's worked in conjunction with Sam Rice, who's just put in a real Trojan effort for us. You know, he's always been working behind the scenes um, uh, and uh, has put in probably more hours than anybody, probably. So uh, these people, uh, obviously, Jerry Spain is in Israel this week, but he's been all around the country uh, doing match analysis on their opponents, and, and he, he's, he's gone to watch AZ and Maccabi. This week, so you know he he's been all over the all over the place, and now Walsh and Hardy Taft behind the scenes, and all of the underage coaches, have done terrific work. You know Martin Connolly, Liam Bournes, and 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 Nick Neville have done terrific work with the under 19s and 17s behind the scenes. So it's it's been a real club effort. The recruitment is one of the most impressive things about Dundalk. Obviously, there's such an experienced squad there now. You've been able to keep the core of that squad together, but each time you've had to dip into the transfer market, it seems to have worked that well with Alan Keane and Dean Shields as well this season. What's the secret behind that recruitment? Um, good players. I think if you want to be a good manager, get good players. I think that's, that's the old-fashioned thing. But I think, no, I think... Um, um, no, there's no secret. I think uh, there's no, no big secret. I think... Uh, all of the all of the players are very talented and uh, you know, of good character, and um, the players the players have been exceptional this season. You know, a lot of questions have been asked of them. A real tough schedule, punishing schedule, and uh, they've overcome it against the odds to to win the league. And uh, obviously, we'll have twelve European games now this season, which is amazing. And we want we want that to go on. We don't want that to end. We want to try and get out of the group. And um, uh, so I think. Um, so that's that's you know that's that's what we want. Was there ever a time in the season with this schedule and with the punishing schedule, like you say, where you maybe doubted that you could achieve what you have? You know? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, not, not, not so much doubted, but just felt felt that the whole schedule would be an impossibility. That. The run of injuries that we would have, and the, the fatigue, and there'd be an inevitability that, that that it was it was it was going to at times be impossible. But I think it helped us to win the league as, as early as we did last Sunday, because had we had gone had to go on and play Sunday, then forty within forty eight hours again to St Pat's and then play a couple of days later again, so we might have found a way to win it anyway. Mm. But it would have made it even more difficult. So to win it in the manner that we did, we couldn't have envisaged that we were going to win it by seven points a couple of weeks ago because obviously we got beaten by Sligo here. Yeah. And um, we were very, very disappointed. And we had the quick turnover. It was only a point in it, and we had to play Cork, and who did one five nothing in Galway. So we had to uh, we had a quick turnover and had to play that game a couple of days later. And uh, the players show, really show what they were made of by, uh, you know, 
brilliant performance to win 2 0 and 2 1, and uh, thoroughly deserved a win, and it was a, a big victory for us. Great teams often have great rivals. They obviously push them on, and then Cork has probably been that for you. How much do you think they're pushing on themselves of being able to make sure that you've got to stay one step ahead all the time? Well, listen, Cork have, um, you know, we've had a lot of praise this week, you know, and over the last week because we won the league and all of that. So you have to take that for what it is. Like, you know, I think you understand that. Cork are waiting in the long grass really for the game on Sunday. You know we understand that um, they, you know, they have a good, very good team, and uh, an exceptional team, and um, they've put, you know, pushed us this season, the last few seasons, particularly this season, and um, we'll have to earn the victory on Sunday coming straight off a of flight from Russia. We're going to have to really lift our game and, and try and put in a big performance and try and try and win the game. And finally. Like you just said, that you are going to be flying in from Russia for the game. That must actually have a different buzz to it, you know. There might be a lot of excitement on that plane coming in for an FAI Cup final. Yeah, I think uh, that listen, it's great times in your life when when you're going to play in Russia against uh, Zenit St. Petersburg on a tourist of night and flying into 30,000 in the Aviva. It's special, special times, really, mm. everybody. And I think, uh, uh, yeah, it's a tough. Tough, it's demanding and tough, tough schedule, but it's one that nobody's complaining about because we, we certainly we relish the the, op, the opportunity to, to do both, and uh, these are things that we have to really embrace and try and do well. In. And uh, two great matches, and hopefully we can finish off the week on high.